this. It is time now for the Peter Chill Evening News for this Sunday evening, May 10th, 2015. Good evening, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins. Now your top news headlines are at 5.30 p.m. And our top story is... The effective use of social media by the terror group ISIS says threats the United States to a new environment when it comes to the threat against the Homeland Department of Homeland Security Secretary Jared Johnson said today on this week. Tornadoes skipped across the Midwest states of rain caused rivers to overflow in the west and tropical storm Anna made landfall near Myrtle Beach South Carolina on Sunday before being downgraded to a tropical depression. During his last start, Michael Pineda performed Black Lady Stars and Eight Scores Sentence for a victory for his encore Sunday. The up injured Pineda struck out a career high 16 batters in seven innings. And Falcons take in this game as the Yankees number one pitcher as the Yankees defeat the Baltimore Orioles 6 2. Mississippi's governor says his state is in the morning Sunday after the shooting deaths of two police officers Saturday night during a traffic stop in Hattiesburg. In Kamanovo, Macedonia, Macedonia said on Sunday that his police had wiped out a group of ethnic Albanian terrorists in a day long gun battle with that left 22 people dead at a moment of deep political crisis in the former Yugoslav Republic. Yemen's Hafei rebels, uh, their allies, agreed Sunday to a five day ceasefire offered by the Saudi led coalition that has led been conducting airstrikes in the country, Yemen's state news agency reported. The daughter of Raul Castro, the Cuban president, has sponsored a religious blessing ceremony for gay couples and a dramatic sign of the change in face of the communists in England that had a long history of persecuting homosexuals under their family's rule. Ukraine's eastern port of Marpol is praised for attack. Army vehicles rumbled in the streets, windows were fortified to shield against. Shell damage and signs pasted to an apartment box point people to the New York's bomb shelter. Bransaw Kromowski, the Polish president, had a fight on his hands to remain in office after coming a surprise second in the first vote round of voting in Poland's presidential elections on Sunday, according to exit polls. South Dakota was the center of weather stream Sunday with a tornado hit in a small town on the eastern side of the state and more than a foot of snow blinking in the Black Hills to the west. Oil leaked in today. Hudson River on Sunday after a transformer fire explosion a day after earlier at the Indian Point nuclear plant of New York City and Governor Andrew Cuomo City was concerned about environmental damage. In a sweeping interview Sunday on CBS's Face the Nation, Vermont Senator and 2016 hopeful Bernie Sanders finally told Bob Schiffer that he can beat Hillary Clinton. Turrets in Yellowstone National Park got a little too close. To have mama bears, cubs, and ended up running for safety. China's central bank cut interest rates for the third time in six months to the red to stop support for an economy grappling with a debt overhang and property slump. The U.S. and unemployment rate remained at 5.4% for April on a safely adjusted basis, marking the lowest level in seven years that jobs added during the April were lower than endless expectations, but still the indicators are stronger than strength in the U.S. A team of scientists has caught a huge halo gas run in the Andromeda Galaxy. Drum beats echoed across Liber Liberia's capital on Sunday as Christian leaders heeded the president's call to celebrate the addiction of airball to the country following a horrific outbreak that claimed more than 4,700 lives in a West African nation. Latest Ebola crisis illustrates lack of commitment and political will in West Africa. This crisis has sparked debate about how it will impact the global scale. In recent study, researchers found that women with a glam look of more attract men more easily. Men usually don't trust them. Okay, take a look at New England's lawyers here at 535. In Dennis, Yarmouth, Massachusetts at 22 Setauket, three acre bush fires in the Flex Pond Conservation Area with M A N E four five. And now look at the sport. See if the Boston Red Sox salvage the final game of the three game weekend series against the Toronto Blue Jays with a six three victory. And the Wheaton Lions softball team are moving on to the next running into the play Division three softball tournament with a thrashing of a thirteen to three thirteen to two victory over the Hudson Eagles. There, Peter Wayne. Peter Channel News on 535 on this Sunday evening near 10 a.m. for a travel report here on this Sunday afternoon and 95 minutes after the accident of protected asteroids. So, expect some ladies here. 
24 in the north on sides. Low through the middle burst. 495 south on slow through the middle burst. Stretch around route 44. Route 3 in the north on sides. Slow from March all the way out to Derby Street and Hingham here. 95 in the north on sides. Slow before route 120 in Canton here. 120 slow in both ends from route 37 to Braintree down to Braintree split. Southeast Expressway on the northbound side, slow from the Braintree Split all the way out to Mass Ave. 93 on the northbound side of Boston, slow from Mass Park all the way out to North Station. Mass Park on the westbound side and eastbound side, slow on both ends from South Boston all the way out to Logan Airport via the Ted Williams Tunnel here. 120 on the southbound side, slow from Denver's all the way out to Linfield due to an accident on Route 120 on the southbound side and Beverly around before Route 1A, so expect some delays here. Mass Park on the westbound side. Eastbound side, slow for the Newton corner here. I eight for the eastbound side, slow from Route 20 to the Mass Pack. Mass Pack eastbound side, slow from Surridge all the way out to Charlton. Mass Pack westbound, slow from Charlton all the way out to before I eight for the Surridge through an accident and Mass Pack on the westbound side before Interstate A for the Surridge. So expect some delays here. Today on the westbound side, a little slow through an accident in Shrewsbury here. One eight five on the southbound side, a little slow after Route 3 in Chelmsford here. On the main trip back in 95 and a that on the main turnpike, that fan also in York. Main, so expect some delays there. But, a waza. Smooth sailing community on a Sunday evening here in New England on this Mother's Day. And a look at the MBTA. Alerts here. Blue line, experience of modern delays due to switch from the Orient Heights. And on the Camille Rail. It's looking good in the ferries off smooth sailing here. Here, chill news on 537 here on this Sunday evening here. And then it's done off a weather report here on this Sunday evening here. And it is a summer like day today on this Mother's Day of 2015. As an elevated fire weather potential this afternoon and early evening across Southern Connecticut, much of Rhode Island and east portions of eastern Massachusetts. The recent lack of rainfall has led to some very dry fuel conditions across much of the region. Southwest wind gusts up. 20 to 30 miles per combined with afternoon wealth of humidity droughts between 30 and 40 percent and result in elevated fire weather potential across much of Northern Connecticut, Rhode Island, and eastern Massachusetts, except for the south coast, Cape Man Islands there. It should be noted that a red flag warning is in effect for portions of Massachusetts from the east slopes of the Berkshires to the Merrimack Valley, where humidity is expected to be the lowest there. Peter Jellinu, and now look at the forecast here for tonight. Will be at areas of fog after 3 a.m. watts. Parts of Gus got low about 61 degrees. Southwest with about 6 to 11 miles. Gus size 25 miles per hour. For Monday, slight chance of showers after 11 a.m. hours of fog before 8 a.m. watts. Parts of Gus got about 82 degrees. At southwest with about 5 to 7 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 20 percent. Monday night, chance of showers morning after midnight. Gus got low about 59 degrees. South wind about 5 miles to get chance of precipitation 30 percent. New precipitation amounts are less than 7 inches possible. For Tuesday, chance of showers and thunderstorms morning after 5 p.m. Most of Costco have about 81 degrees in southwest, one about 5 to 9 miles by the size, 23 miles by chance of precipitation, 30%. No rain for months of less than 7 inches possible, 7 miles possible in thunderstorms. So that, chance of showers and thunderstorms remain before 10 p.m. Park Costco have about 53 degrees in southwest wind, 7 to 9 miles to come in west after midnight, chance of precipitation, 30%. Wednesday, most of the Southern Park Costco about 68, low about 43 degrees. Thursday, Southern Most Coast Costco about 65, low about 43 degrees. Friday, Southern Park Costco has about 71, low about 47 degrees. And for Saturday, Park Sun Skies, high about 70 degrees and low about 51 degrees at Chester Shots area. And next Sunday, Park Sun Skies, about 70 degrees here. North temperature at 539, standing at 80 degrees with first guys. That's me for the Peter Channel. Evening news on the Sunday evening, May 10th, 2015. Peter, you have a good evening. I'll see you. A late night, 11 o'clock report. Have a good evening.